Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I want to see if I can unlock this T-Mobile iPhone and I'm gonna try to use an RSIM that I bought before so let's see if I can unlock it. First I want to show you that it's a, a phone only for T-Mobile or Metro so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try a SIM card from Cricket. Alright, I'm gonna put a SIM card Activation required, gonna put dismiss. And it says SIM not supported, okay. All right, so once you take this out, we should be able to go back to the menu. If you want, we can try with one more card. We're gonna try with a Verizon SIM card. And of course, the result is gonna be the same. Activation required, dismiss. And once we try to do it, we're going to get SIM card not supported, all right? So let's take this out, guys. And as soon as we take it out, we are back on track. Now we have the phone. Now, I want to show you something, guys. If we put a SIM card from Metro, we're going to be able to see it, to use it. It says no SIM, and now it said no service. But soon it's going to say Metro. But if it doesn't do it, you can restart the phone and it's going to do it. But as you can see, the phone didn't go to the... Oh, look at this, guys. So it took a little while, but now you can see it, Metro PCS. And just as a test, we can do the 611. This is Metro by T-Mobile. and I Okay, so we already confirmed that the phone is locked to Metro and T-Mobile. And you cannot use Cricket and any of the other SIM cards. So what we're going to do, guys, is now, let's say, we're going to put the Cricket SIM card. And we're going to get that um, SIM card not supported. Activation required, right? SIM card not supported. All right. But this time, guys, we're going to take this SIM card out. And we're going to put this one. Guys, this is the R SIM 13. I think this is the latest model. And before that, I, I have the Supreme that it was one before. Both should be working, especially because this is not a new iPhone, all right? So what we need to do, guys, once you see this SIM card not supported, you're gonna press here, and from here, you're gonna click Emergency Call. And once you're here, you're gonna dial this, guys. Star 5005, star 7672, star 0, pound and once you have this you're gonna press dial and look at this setting succeeded service center address no address dismiss that is weird so what we're gonna do guys is we are going to try it again all right star five zero zero five star seven six seven two star and this time I'm gonna put two zeros, zero, zero, pound. And we're gonna click dial. This time it works, guys. We needed to add it another zero. All right, so it says input ICC ID. All right, from where I'm gonna get the ICC ID? You're gonna go to a website, and the website is called rsim5.com. And I already have the number here. It's a long number, so make sure you have it correctly. On this website, the rsim5.com, you need to check constantly because the code is updated. And the number I have is this, guys. 89014-1042. You see, you cannot make a mistake. Now we have to do it again, guys. Star 5005 star seven six seven two star zero zero pound and then dial and now we have another chance to enter the code we cannot make a mistake because then it's going to happen what happened before eight nine zero one forty one zero four twenty seven 9202 9202 5973 5973 32 32 and that's it and then you're going to click send 
And he said, done. He said, done, guys. Accept. And now you're gonna, what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to restart the phone, all right? Because he said, done. So you're going to turn it off. And you're going to turn it on again. Okay. The phone is restarting, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to try now with the new SIM card, all right? Because supposedly the job is done. So we're going to take out the R SIM and we're going to put the SIM card from Cricut because that's the one we want to use, right? Okay, this is a different message, guys. This is saying that the phone could not be activated because the activation server cannot be rich. Try connecting your phone to iTunes to activate it or try again in a couple of minutes, all right? So this, this means that they cannot connect to the servers. Okay, so we're gonna try again. It says SIM not supported, try again. That is very weird. I have an idea, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the other SIM card we have. So what happened is our SIM 14 didn't work. So we're gonna try with this. Extreme, okay? And that's pretty much it. Let's try with this one, guys. I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna emergency call. I mean, I'm sorry, star five, zero, zero, five, star seven, six, seven, two, star again, zero, zero, pound. Once we have this code, we're gonna press on dial, boom. Please wait, now they asking us to put the input ICC and that's the one I have and it's 89, 014, 1042, 7920, 2597, 332. Okay, so now please double check it, guys. 09 014 1042 7920 2597. Hold on and now we have to go back to a star five zero zero five star seven six seven two star zero zero pound dial and now we're gonna put the the code this time I hope it doesn't reset it eight nine zero one four one zero four two 2597 332 332 send is it said done accept okay and that's it cancel right and we're gonna restart it because it said done so I turn off the phone, I'm gonna turn it on again, and this time I'm gonna leave the car there. Let's see if that's the problem with this. Guys, and this time it went in. This time the phone reset it and it went in. And if you go here, if you want to see the what kind of SIM card is this, this is, look, look at the carrier. Carrier lab 23.2.5. But finally, guys, we need to do it without taking out the SIM card. So now that we know that it works, we're gonna try the other SIM cards that they didn't work before, right? In this case, the one from Cricut. So again, guys, I don't have a line on this one, but basically, if it doesn't kick me out, that means that it's successful, all right? And actually, if you can read it here, that means that it's successful. 
So let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. So let's wait. Let's wait. Okay, this is a good sign. Now it's reading cricket 28.3 and it's not kicking me out. Before it was kicking me out saying that the SIM card was not valid. All right, but now it said no service. So I'm expecting this to change to service, but um, actually this might not change because this SIM card is not activated. But again, guys, that's telling you that uh, the unlock works because it's not kicking me out. All right, so no service because I don't have a service. So I think that should be okay. In, in case of when we try with the Metro one, the fact that it was able to make a phone call is because this SIM card is brand new and I never activated, so maybe that's why. I'm gonna try uh, another SIM card that uh, initially was popping up with T. Uh, this, this SIM card is from another country. This SIM card is from Tigo, and let's see what happened if I put it here because before it was working with AT&T. So maybe, oh, look at this. Look, voicemail. No service, but sometimes it goes with AT&T. So let's see, guys. What happened if I go here and you should look at this. Tigo, 28.2.5. So that's Tigo right there, guys. Oh, look at this. It's going to AT&T. So that's perfect. That's perfect, guys. That's proving you that this phone is 100% unlocked. And the reason you see no service before with Cricket is because I don't have service right now. So, But the fact that the phone didn't kick you out, that means that the unlock was successful. And this is proven to you that it is. But hold on, let me see. Look at that. For assistance, you need to contact your service provider directly. Para obtener ayuda, debe comunicarse directamente con su proveedor de servicio. Message. That's it. So basically, it's, let's say you're traveling from Colombia to the U.S. and you have a Tigo um, SIM card. Once you come to the U.S., AT&T is going to take care of it. But you need to configure that in Colombia. I proved you guys that I unlocked the phone using this one, the Supreme one. So the RSIM 14 didn't work for some reason, but the other one works. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you that uh, we can still unlock these iPhones. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. The best way you can support my channel is if you subscribe to my channel. That would be great. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And that's it, guys. So if you support me, I'm going to be able to upload more videos for you. Thank you, and I see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.